Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today, as you can clearly tell, I am coming to you with a reading vlog. I was planning on filming today, but I went on Twitter earlier and I asked people like what type of videos they would like to see, and like almost every single person said a reading vlog, which I'm totally on board with because one, I am in such a reading mood right now, like all I've wanted to do is read, that's why I haven't filmed any videos, and two, because I don't feel like wearing makeup and I don't feel like getting dressed and like doing all of the setting up and like the whole filming spiel. I'm just like not about it right now. I just feel like sitting down and reading. So yeah, those are the reasons why you're gonna get a reading vlog today and I'm super super excited about this because like I said, I'm in a total reading mood and I want to try and see how many books I can read in 24 hours. <laughs> I've decided to make this a 24 hour reading vlog. I just feel like really really like dedicating this next 24 hours to just reading. I'm gonna go out to get some lunch and like that's about it but I just want to dedicate all of this time to reading and I want to see how many books I can read in 24 hours because I have a TBR set up that I think, I think I can stick to and I think I could potentially finish it but we will see. It really depends on like how focused I can stay um, but I feel like I can get at least like four or five books read today but I have a TBR of I think eight <laughs> So we'll see. But yeah, anyway, I'm really excited to get into my day today and just read as much as I possibly can. Also, if you're wondering why I'm only wearing lipstick and no other makeup, it's because my lips were really chapped this morning and I couldn't find my chapstick. So I just put on lipstick, like the most moisturizing one I had. That's why I'm only wearing lipstick and no other makeup. It probably looks really weird. I don't care. Also, my hair is wet. I'm just wearing like this really comfy dress. I just like don't feel like putting any energy into how I look right now. I just haven't for a while. I think after like in New York and like that whole week of wearing makeup every day and getting like dressed up every single day, I just got really, really exhausted. It's so much fun, but also like I am not the type of person who wears makeup every day. Like I literally don't wear makeup at all unless it's for an event. So uh, yeah, I think I just got like really worn out and like lately, I've just been so done with makeup in general and I haven't felt like putting it on so sorry for the lack of videos because of that. I know it's not necessary to wear makeup to film videos, I just prefer to do it whenever I'm filming um, but I don't know, maybe I'll just like stop wearing it and stop using that as an excuse. Who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my TBR now. <laughs> All right, so I set you guys down because it's way easier to hold up the books when I'm not also holding my camera but like I said, I have a pretty pretty ambitious TBR. But at the same time, I have a feeling that I could actually do this. I don't want to jinx myself. I just want to get through as many as I possibly can, but I also do want to challenge myself to try and see how many books I can finish in 24 hours. Granted, some of them are shorter. It's not like I'm reading six 500 page books. I don't think I can do that in 24 hours. If anyone can, props to you. That's incredible. I definitely can't. So some of the books that I've chosen are on the shorter side, about 200 pages, 300 pages, as well as some graphic novels, which are kind of on the longer side too, but still um, I think that I can do it. So let's get into the books. The first two I have to show you are the graphic novels that I mentioned. And the first one I have already started, but I think that I'm probably going to have to start it over because it's been a while and I don't remember a lot of the plot, but that is Monstrous Volume 1. It's about like this world where there are like, I think they're kind of like chimeras. So like monsters or animals mixed with humans and they've been like enslaved and oppressed by the humans. So far from like what I'd read the art style is incredible and really really beautiful and I really think that I will enjoy this. I've heard fantastic things about it from a lot of people and this one is kind of like on the longer side for a graphic novel but I did like what I'd read. Again I will have to start it over I think but nonetheless I'm very very excited and intrigued by it and I'm really hoping to love it. The next graphic novel that I have is the second part to one that I've already read and and that is Persepolis Volume 2. This is, like I said, the second volume and I read the first volume, I want to say, earlier this year. I don't remember when, like January, February, something like that, um, and I loved it. It's basically a graphic memoir about the story of this girl who lives in Iran during the time of the Iranian Revolution. There's a movie version of it as well, it's like animated, and I want to watch that once I finish this because my family really loves it and I hope that I will too. I definitely know that I will. Um, but yeah, like I said, I loved the 
first part. It was so fantastic and I have been meaning to read this second part for so long so I think today is the perfect time to do it. The next two books I have to show you all are two that I've actually already started and so technically this won't be like me reading all of these books in their entirety because I have started these two but I'm also like not super super far into them. I'm less than halfway through so it's fine like I'm still gonna count it as reading the full book like I don't care. Plus these are both on the longer side anyway so it's still a lot of pages to do in one day okay it's fine. But the first book is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. This is one that I have been reading for a while now and I just haven't gotten around to finishing it but I have really enjoyed what I've read of it so far. It's basically about this girl who enters treatment for anorexia and it's about her story as she's in this treatment center and she also starts receiving like these gifts from some anonymous person that she thinks might be her ex-boyfriend so it has a little bit of mystery but it's also obviously a very serious topic and something that I've been wanting to read for a while. I'm currently on page 157 and I think it's like 400 pages, about like 390, so about 400 pages. So yeah, not even halfway through yet, so I'm definitely going to count it. And this is one of the ones that I want to definitely make a priority and try and finish because I'm tired of being in the middle of like so many books. I just want to finish all of the ones I'm currently reading. So yeah, it's definitely a priority for me. This might be one of the first ones that I read. The next book that I definitely want to finish today as well is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book in the Strange the Dreamer series and it's the finale, so it's the last book. It's just a duology and it's like slowly killing me because I don't want it to end and that's why I've been reading it so slowly but also I just like need to know what happens so I have to finish this today. Strange the Dreamer is one of my all-time favorite books and I definitely know that this will also become one of my all-time favorite books. It's not out yet, it comes out in October so it's a little ways away but nonetheless I am so incredibly excited to continue reading it and I know that it's going to break me so you guys can have fun watching that live. <laughs> and of course I can't do a reading vlog without also listening to an audiobook because they help me get through so many more books and it fills up so much of my day when I can't be like physically holding a book and I have to just like listen to something while I do something else. So I have two audiobooks on my list that I want to get to today, both of which are very very short and I also have the physical book so I'm just going to show you the physical book. But the first one is Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire. This is one that I started in a different reading vlog like a long time ago and I've only read like the first 30 pages Another one I'm definitely gonna have to start over because it's been almost a year, I think, since that vlog. And I think that I'll be able to get through it really, really quickly. I think the audiobook is like four hours and 45 minutes and I listen to it on double speed. So yeah, I definitely think I can make my way through this. It won't be that difficult. It'll be a priority for me as well today too because it'll be something I will fly through. And then the last audiobook I have planned to read for today is Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. This is the short story that is a part of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series and it actually has illustrations and things in it as well um, that were illustrated by her husband I believe. So I'm actually planning on listening to the audiobook while physically reading this as well just so I can look at the pictures and stuff too. So yeah I'm very excited about this because I just like I love Lainey Taylor's writing. It's gonna be a very Lainey Taylor filled day as you can tell um, and I miss this world a lot so I'm excited to dive back in. And then the very last book I have planned to hopefully read today is one that I don't know if I'll get around to because I feel like the other six are kind of of my main priority just because I want to dedicate as much as I can to those and finishing those. This is one that I'm thinking I'm gonna start if I have the time, which I don't think I will, but we will see because um, I don't know if I can get through seven books in one day, but we'll see if it happens. And that book is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahira Mafi. This again is another advanced copy. This book comes out in October as well, um, but this is Tahira Mafi's new book. It's about a girl post 9-11, a Muslim girl post 9-11, and about her experiences, how she's treated, how people perceive her, and she also break dances, which Tahira Mafi also used to break dance, and I just think that that's really, really cool. She said that this is like her most autobiographical novel that she's ever written, um, so I'm very, very excited to read it. I've heard fantastic things about it so far, and I really think I'm gonna love it. This one is also like not too long. I think it's like just over 300 pages. Yeah, it's like 310 pages, so it's really not that long. I think I'll be able to fly through it, but that's only if I have the time. But yeah, there we have it. That is my TBR. I have seven books. I said eight earlier. It's only seven. Seven books that I am hoping to get to today. I only think that I'll be able to get to six of them and that's like a stretch too. 
but we'll see we'll see how much I get through hopefully it's a decent chunk of these just because I have so many books I want to read right now that I'm just like overwhelmed by it and I want to try and get through as many as I can but also enjoy them not just like speed through them just for the sake of having read them I want to enjoy them and today I'm just in such a reading mood that I definitely think I'll be able to enjoy so many of these so I am excited. So right now it is exactly 12 o'clock p.m. 12.01 now. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to start just yet. I think I'm going to start at one o'clock um, because my sister and I wanted to go out and get some lunch and I don't want that to like cut into my reading time. And then I will let you guys know exactly like when I start because I want to start and end at exactly the same time. And I am planning on staying up like maybe not all night but at least like a decent amount of the night so that I can get as much reading done as I possibly can but I also don't want to not sleep at all because that's not good for my health and I do it way too often I don't need to do it again <laughs> but yeah I will check in with you guys once we've gotten our food and once I start reading my book and the time has officially started so I'll see you soon hello so we just got back from getting our food I have my poke right here I'm very excited to eat it and I'm gonna start reading Persepolis volume two while I do that. And yeah, it's currently, what time is it? Like one, no, 12.43. So like basically one o'clock, I'm just gonna start now anyway, because like what difference is 15 minutes really gonna make? So yeah, I'm excited to start reading the book and I will update you guys once I've finished my lunch and once I've gotten more into it. This is literally every single conversation with my parents. No joke. All right, so I just finished my lunch and I also just finished Persepolis volume two and it was really, really good. Super sad, just like the first one and also super funny. I absolutely love these graphic novels. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. So it took me about an hour to read that, which isn't that bad because this is a pretty long graphic novel. It's like 200 pages and there are a lot of words. Now, I don't know which book I'm gonna read next, but I think I'm gonna go sit outside for a bit because it's really, really warm and sunny outside. And I've just been doing that for the past few days. Like I just go and take a blanket and lay down in our backyard and just read because the sun is warm and it feels good. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna go do. And then um, I'll let you guys know which book I decide to continue reading. But yeah, let's go do that. Hello, so I am in my backyard now. I was gonna sit in the front yard with all the flowers and the grass, but it's like windy in the front yard and then people can see me and cars drive by. And I just like didn't wanna deal with that. Plus it's just like nicer and warmer in the backyard. So I'm sacrificing the aesthetic, but I really don't care. Also, I decided to continue reading Muse of Nightmares. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I've set up a little blanket for myself. I'll show you in a sec. And I have my water and I'm just gonna chill here and relax and read. I couldn't find a towel. So I have like this fuzzy purple blanket that like we don't use anymore. So it was just like in the garage. So I have that. And then this like turtle thing this like plushie that used to be like something my sister and I would play with that was also in the garage and I'm just like using it as a pillow all my stuff is purple apparently right now my water bottle my blanket my book but yeah I'm so excited to keep reading this I am on page what is it 135 so I'm not too far into it yet but yeah I have my whole like purple aesthetic here super into it and I'm excited to keep reading <laughs> Okay, this was a mistake. It's too hot outside. Okay, so I think I've gotten to about the halfway point with Muse of Nightmares and I love it so much so far. Like, I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like obsessed and I don't wanna keep reading it right now because I'm like not prepared to emotionally get even more invested into it. And I know that like this second half, because I'm on part three now, so like it's about the second half of the book, is gonna just like kill me and I'm not ready to be there yet. So I think I'm gonna read something else in between this and then probably come back to it and finish it up. My eyes are getting a little bit tired and I kind of just like wanna lie down and listen to an audiobook for a little bit. So I think I'm going to listen to um, Night of Cake and Puppets actually, cause I'm still in a Lainey Taylor style writing mood. Um, and then I'll just like 
lie here for a bit, maybe go outside again and chill and enjoy the sun. And then I will finish that up and then probably get back into News of Nightmares again because I definitely have to finish this up today. Like I can't not. <laughs> Which by the way, I use the um, app Scribed or Scribd. I think other people say Scribd. I say Scribd. I don't know. And I love them. I used to use Audible, but Audible is honestly like so expensive um and scribed is like way less expensive and you can listen to literally like unlimited audiobooks and they have a smaller selection but like it's fine also this isn't sponsored by the way even though it should be because i'm obsessed with them um but yeah so a lot of people ask me what i use to listen to audiobooks and that's what i use um and yeah i'm gonna start night of cake and puppets now and i'm excited to get into it finished book number two and I am so happy. Honestly, the audiobook was not my favorite. I didn't like the narrator too much, but I did really enjoy the story. I thought it was super cute. It's basically like a novella type of like short story about two of the characters from Daughter of Smoke and Bone and I really really enjoyed it. It was super super fun and very cute, very heartwarming, and just a really nice light read. I also thought the illustrations were fantastic and yeah, I'm just really happy that I finally read this and to be back in this world again. But now that I finished Night of Cake and Puppets, I was gonna go into Muse of Nightmares again, but honestly I'm kind of thinking that I want to read what I lost just because I'm in a bit of a contemporary mood right now now that I've read like a little bit of fantasy and that one was more of a contemporary even though it technically still is in a fantasy world. It's more urban fantasy. Nonetheless, I'm really pleased. It's like 5.30 or something right now and I've already finished two books. I'm definitely gonna finish at least two more. Um, so that'll be four, uh, but I, I still want to try and get to the full like six. Seven is kind of out of the question at this point, but we'll see how quickly I read for the next few hours. But yeah, in between all of that time, I also ended up helping my sister put a coffee table together because we got a new coffee table. <laughs> and um, I have to have dinner soon as well when my mom gets home. So um, I might take a bit of a break during that time and we might watch The Bachelorette for a little while. So I might read during like the commercial breaks. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably do that in a little and I'll have like a bit of a reading break but right now I'm still definitely in a reading mode so um, I'm gonna just keep on going with that keep it up and try and get through as much as I can of what I lost <laughs> pizza, I have my book, and we're watching The Bachelorette, and I'm gonna read in between the commercial breaks. <laughs> So we finished with dinner and watched the most recent episode of The Bachelorette um, and I did get a bit of reading done in between that time but it was mostly like a break time. Definitely needed that just to like step away from the book a little bit, spend some time with my family. But now I'm getting back into finishing up what I lost. I'm currently on page 250 so I've made a bit of progress. I think I have about like 120 pages something like that left. So yeah not too bad. Um, I am excited to continue on with it. I really like where the story is going so far and it's making me really emotional and hitting really close to home and I'm really really loving it so I'm excited to dive back into this and finish it up and then um, after I finish this I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna listen to my next audiobook just because I kind of want to lay down and just relax and listen even though I have been relaxing this whole time but there's something about audiobooks that's just like super relaxing but I'll update you guys once I finish this and let you know my final thoughts. I finished what I lost, which means I finished my third book for the day. I really, really enjoyed this one. I think there was a portion there in the middle where I was getting kind of like 
more bored with it. It was just moving a bit more slowly, but then especially towards the end, I ended up like marking up a couple of pages. I don't know if you can see my tabs. I think there were a few parts there, especially towards the end that hit a bit too close to home for me. I started crying and um, there were a couple of times actually that I was thinking of just like putting it down and reading something else instead because it was getting to be a bit too much. But nonetheless, I'm glad that I did end up finishing it and I really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like it's gonna be a book I think about a lot. But yeah, so I have finished my third book now and I'm excited to keep on going. Right now I'm thinking, like I said earlier, that I probably just want to listen to um, my next audiobook, which is Every Heart a Doorway. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now and just like scroll around on Twitter. I don't know, I'm just like getting kind of more tired and I feel like I need something else to help me wind down a bit and then I'll probably read the graphic novel after that. We'll see. I haven't decided how long I'm going to stay up tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm halfway through. I'm basically putting off a very large expanse of sea. I don't think I'm going to get to seven books, but I do think I can do the six um, because I can definitely finish the audiobook tonight because right now it is currently 9.50, so um, it's not even that late right now. I can definitely finish the audiobook like by midnight around then and I can for sure finish the graphic novel tonight as well too. So that'll leave just like the rest of Muse of Nightmares for tomorrow morning until like 12. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking I can do it. I'm hopeful. Um, we'll see how that works out. I think I'm gonna try out actually Instagram's new like questions feature on stories because I've been seeing everyone posting about that today and I've been wanting to try it out and I think I'm going to try it out right now while I'm just listening to the audiobook because I don't have to pay too much attention to that and I can easily listen and answer some questions. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go and do and then I'll update you guys once I do that. So I just finished listening to Every Heart a Doorway on audio and I really, really enjoyed it. There was a while there where I was thinking like, this might not be the book for me. I don't understand the hype. But then like as the story progressed, because it is very, very short, as the story progressed though, I got way more into it and then I just fell in love with the characters and I related so much to some of them and honestly I'm just like blown away by how invested I got considering how short the actual story is. But I really loved it. I kind of just want to listen to the next one now and I have the audiobook for the next one because it's on Scribd and I'm thinking that I might just listen to that before I go to bed because the next audiobook is also only four hours and this one only took me two hours to listen to. Like it is 12.22 right now. I also got dressed and got ready for bed, brushed my teeth and everything. So like it took a little bit more. But um, yeah, the next one will only take me two hours to listen to as well and like going to bed at like 2 a.m. Isn't that bad for something when I'm trying to read for 24 hours straight? Like that's not too, too late. Plus that'll count as another book and then in the morning I can finish Muse of Nightmares and potentially even read Monstrous. That might be pushing it a little bit, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards just listening to the next book in the series because I'm super into it now and I want to continue on. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if I'll get like any more vlog clips of me listening to it tonight before I go to bed. Um, but if I don't, I'll just update you guys in the morning once I've finished it and then I will start on my next books. But yeah, I'm gonna go do that now and then probably fall asleep. Hopefully I don't fall asleep listening to it. That happens to me way too often. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a really, really good day so far. I've already finished four books. Like, that's incredible. If I don't even finish anything else, I won't even be disappointed, honestly. Like, I'm pretty proud of myself, but I really wanna try and get to that total of six. So I think I can do it. And now I'm gonna stop talking so I don't waste any more of my time um, and get to listening to the next book. Good morning. It's currently 8 a.m. and I like just woke up five minutes ago and I'm still really, really tired. But I fell asleep listening to my audiobook last night. So I didn't finish it, but I am halfway through. So I only have about like an hour of it left so that's not that bad i'm definitely gonna finish it this morning and i also think i can definitely finish the graphic novel and potentially finish muse of nightmares so i'm gonna try and do all of that but i am still so tired right now so i think i'm gonna continue listening to my audiobook as i get up and like get ready for my day and have my breakfast <sighs> It's not even that early for me. I was just so tired yesterday. But yeah, anyway, um, I am enjoying it. It's really good so far and I'm excited to continue listening. 
and bring you guys with me along in my day even though I'm really not doing anything today it's basically gonna be just like yesterday um but yeah so I'm gonna go and get ready for the day and then I'll check in with you guys once I've probably finished it <laughs> listening to Down Among the Sticks and Bones. I really, really liked this one. I think I actually like this one more than I liked the first one. There's just something about the story that's more intricate and I preferred the actual plot to this one, to the plot of the first one. And I really like the characters and the like backstory that we get for them. Um, and I like the way that this like series is composed and like put together because it's so different and unique because you get like kind of like a prequel to the other story and you get background for the characters from the first one and I'm wondering what the third one and the fourth one are going to be like. I'm excited to continue on in this. It's really really well written and I like the world. It's like super weird but in the best way possible. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. So I think what I'm going to do next is finish Muse of Nightmares because I think I have about like 250 pages of this left or something which I can definitely finish before one and then if I have enough time I am going to try and get to Monstrous the graphic novel. I know I could read this first and like just finish it but I really want to finish Muse of Nightmares like I've been putting it off for way too long so um I'm gonna finish that and then hopefully get around to Monstrous as well but yeah I'm already up to five books so um I'm really happy with that. I say this in literally every vlog but I'm sorry if this vlog is boring because like I'm literally not doing anything I am just sitting here and reading and I don't know how to make it more interesting because like I'm not gonna go anywhere because that'll just waste my time I also always end up with way too much content so they end up being super long but it's fine <laughs> okay so I am still reading and I just realized that I actually have way more than 200 pages I think when I started reading I was on page like 215 or something like that I don't remember but um it's 511 pages so um now I'm on page 267 so I still have a ways to go um and I still think I can finish it before one o'clock I do read pretty quickly but the thing with this book is that I I'm reading it really slowly because I don't want it to end and I want to enjoy it so I'm not gonna rush myself like it's not a big deal if I don't finish it by then even though I still think like I will um I just I don't think I'm gonna get around to monstrous so I think I'm gonna take my time and fully enjoy this for like every single word um because I just I love this book so much and this world so so much and these characters so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know because I think it's gonna take me a bit longer than I was expecting to finish it um but I'm not upset with that because I'm loving it so so much and I'm just like fully invested right now and all I want to do is finish it so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I just wanted to let you guys know oh my god okay so we learn like a lot more in this book about the world and like what happened in prior to what happens in Strange the Dreamer um and it's so dark like I knew that because they like tell you in the first book but like this is actually giving us like legitimate descriptions of what happened to some of the characters. I'm being really vague because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone because this doesn't come out for a while, but oh my god. Just oh my god. It's so intense and just disturbing and horrific and horrible, but like so well written and so good. Like, oh, I'm obsessed with this book series and like honestly, whenever I'm back in this world, I just, I feel my love for it and it it makes me think like this is probably my favorite series, definitely my favorite duology of all time, but like it could be my favorite series just because I love the writing. I love the world. I love the characters. It's just so well done. Oh my god. I know I said that in like my last reading vlog about Number in the Ashes, which is also another one of my all-time favorite series, potentially my favorite series. I can't make up my mind. I feel like I have to finish this first and that series also has to conclude, but oh my god. I just am obsessed. I don't understand how Lainey Taylor does it. I'm just in awe. Okay, update. So I am currently on page 404. I'm on chapter 50. I basically have like 100 pages left and that's it. And 
I love it so much. <laughs> there were a couple times there where I had to take a bit of a break just because like the story was getting like a bit too intense and things got like really sad. So uh, yeah, it got to be a lot at times, but I don't have too much left. It's currently about 11.45, so I'm definitely gonna be able to finish the next 100 pages within that time. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to keep going with it. And I seriously just don't want it to end. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop wasting my time now um, because I'm pretty sure my camera's battery is also about to die, so I have to change that out too. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to reading and then I'll update you guys once I finish it because it's probably gonna be pretty soon. <laughs> I finished it. I finished it and it was so good. <laughs> Honestly, like I love this book series so much and Lainey Taylor's writing and her worlds are just so incredibly intricate that I wanna study this like a textbook. Like I wanna just sit down and go through it and like annotate the entire thing and analyze the entire thing so I can even like vaguely begin to understand this world because it feels like its own fairy tale and like its own mythology, like all in just like two books. And oh my God, that ending. I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but that ending. Ugh, it was just so good and I'm so in love. But on another note, I did it. I read a total of six books. It is only 1236 right now. Technically I could read more, but I don't think I'm going to finish another graphic novel in these like next 30, 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do that, but I read six books. I read six books in 24 hours and I feel pretty good about myself. Honestly, I think I could probably do more than this just because vlogging like definitely takes up time from that and I wasn't like constantly reading all day yesterday and today and I did sleep for several hours, so. <laughs> but for like a chill version of this like challenge that I kind of gave myself, um, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy. I got through a bunch of books that I've really been wanting to read slash finish for a while and I loved everything that I read. This was definitely my favorite one, hands down, um, but I really, really enjoyed everything I read over this past day. It was just wonderful. But yeah, there you all have it. That is pretty much it for this vlog. Um, I don't really have anything else to update you all on since I am finished with everything, but it was really, really nice just to have like a fun reading vlog. I really miss doing reading vlogs, even though I did one kind of fairly recently, um, and I know you all love them too because so many people ask me to make them all the time, so I'll definitely make this more of a common thing also because like I kind of touched on this earlier in the video at the beginning but I prefer doing like these chill types of videos compared to just like setting up my whole camera and getting ready and filming more of like a I don't know put together video I don't know I don't script any of my videos so they're all kind of just off the cuff and casual for me but there's just something about vlogging that's way more comfortable and I just feel like I can just be more of myself um, and just talk more about myself than I can in regular videos for some reason. That's not to say that I don't like those videos. I still love them. I still love making them. I always will, but I do kind of just want to move more into making some more like chill, relaxed, and casual videos just because this is so much more me and I prefer it a lot and I hope you guys like it too. But Nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching this. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. What were your thoughts on any of them? If you would like to see another reading vlog, is there a certain type of like style or something you would like to see me do? Are there any certain books that you'd like to see me read in a reading vlog? Anything like that. I have another reading vlog actually coming up fairly soon after this one that I'm so excited for you all to see because I have just had the most amazing time filming it and it's very different and something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So so I do have another one coming up, but if there are any other things you would like to see, definitely let me know, even if they're not reading vlogs. But if you would like to follow me on any of my social media, if you'd like to see what else I am reading, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!